as I promised you, uh, we have uh, Crystal in the building, and uh, this woman is phen phenomenal. I can tell you right now, man. She's one of the best South African TV reality star, actress, a businesswoman, lawyer, model, ladies and gentlemen, Crystal K. Hey, well, thank you so much for that wonderful, wonderful introduction. It's so <laughs> hey. good to be here. <laughs> no, man, I, I, I'm feeling great as well, man. Thank you for coming through. Man. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, look, I, I know a lot of people are excited about this one. They have been excited uh, since last week for okay. this one right here, man. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty exciting. I like hey, it's just to see you here. You know what I mean? I've got uh, even Soul Bobby also coming on the next segment. Uh, beautiful people in the building. Beautiful people in the building, you know? No. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, man, I've been getting a lot of response uh, from a lot of people. So, yo, wow, we can't wait. Oh, my God, it's Crystal. She's going to come on Bogot Radio. I'm like, yeah, um, just tune in, <laughs> you know, and it's, it's been it's been amazing. Obviously, before we dive into what everyone wants to know about, I want, I want to know about you. Let's get back to the beginning. Yeah. How did this start? I mean, I, I know you grew up in uh, Durban, right? Yeah, that's it. Um, I was born in Durban, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in a little princess ward, and um, in yeah, a mansum toti somewhere. Um, Is it? Yeah, and hey. anyway, um, yeah, I did my whole schooling there and everything. Yeah, and which school did you go to? Um, I went to Grosvenor Girls High. Yeah, oh, okay. that's, yeah. That's rough and tough from the bluff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's where I get there? it from. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, without a doubt. <laughs> what, um, how was it there, like in high school? Were you also like famous in high school? Or well, you actually, just... um, believe it or not, yes, I was. Um, oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> cheerleading everything. That um, was you. I started at a young age with mm -hmm. the whole entertainment side of things um, as a model. Yeah. And um, yeah, by the time I was um, 15, 16, I was. Yeah, taking days off school to do my modeling. It was um, quite, wow. a, quite a lot of fun. And I was beating you... all my friends to the pocket money, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, this is, this is very amazing. I won't lie to you, man. This is quite amazing. So you're telling me that even in school, you were like this. You're just looking still fabulous like this. Well, you know, I had dark hair. Um, uh -huh. I, I went blonder later in my life. Um, I can say that that was a really good um, decision. Um, I think blondes definitely do have more fun. Okay. Um, but I <laughs> think, yeah, you know, when I was young, I could definitely carry off the darker hair. And uh -huh, um, uh -huh. yeah, I, I started modeling when I was about um, seven years old and I went on yeah. a modeling course and loved it and mm -hmm. just carried on with it and yeah and what, eventually what made you yeah. get into modeling though well um what happened was i had braces on my teeth when i was okay. younger uh -huh. and um you know i just wanted to really be pretty and <laughs> okay. i didn't look okay. very pretty for a very long time because <laughs> of the braces <laughs> yeah okay but i always um had a very good attitude towards you know like getting them off um, when they would come off and I always oh, believed okay. that they were going to make me beautiful mm -hmm. and I, I always kept that in my heart the whole way you know wearing them ah, that's, that's and I must tell you that the day that I got those braces off I did look actually quite amazing okay. and people would mm -hmm. always come up to me and say you know what you should start modeling you should start modeling Is it? so then eventually I thought uh -huh. okay well let me try this you know <laughs> and um, mm -hmm. yeah I have to say that it was a great idea and I did very well actually um, I think people know my claim to fame is that I modeled with <laughs> Charlize Theron. What? <laughs> that is yeah. amazing, eh? <laughs> yeah, and uh, we I had actually didn't know that. I didn't, did you know that, Neil? No. I, I didn't. No. I didn't know that. No, I made I made that claim on the Housewives, and okay. everybody had such a like problem with me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, "Oh God, this girl is smoking something," you know. Oh, yeah. But, um, uh -huh. but no. So what so happened was it was a nationwide um, model search, and Charlize and I were both selected as one of the ten. What? And we were put together in a in as brilliant. roommates. Um, uh -huh. We actually had to sit <laughs> to share the same bed. <laughs> wow! <What? laughs> you shared a bed with Charlize. Yeah, I did. Mm. Yeah. The it's come up. Impressive. What do you know? The come up is it's great. <laughs> Greatest thing ever, so, man. So okay, fine. So obviously, before we dive into the job at lifestyle and everything that you have, we just want to know. So, like, what made you like uh, come? Uh, were you in Joburg by then, or you were still in Durban? You're doing the modeling. I was thing? still in Durban. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. So, like, yeah. uh, when did you decide to come to Johannesburg? Uh, whether as the peak of the career, or yeah, you, uh, what happened, and when did you come to Joburg? So what happened was um, I was always a lawyer, and mm -hmm, I had mm -hmm. studied law, and I had my own advocate's practice. 
um, in Durban Club Place. Mm. And yeah, I was working quite hard at that. And then for a while, everything just dried up. Like I had like three mm-hmm. months of no It always like, happens no to work. everybody. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I had no cash funds to like <laughs> carry on with this. Yes, that is a story to greatness. Yeah. Uh, right there, that's a story to greatness. It was actually so sad because I had a beautiful, beautiful chambers. I put a lot of money into it. And, you know, I had a great future ahead of me. It's just mm-hmm, that I couldn't mm-hmm. sustain myself to actually pay the bills. And, mm. and anyway, so what happened was um, a friend of mine from Johannesburg said look there's an opening in this law firm and I was also qualified as an wow. as an ad- attorney as well not just an advocate so, oh yeah, yeah definitely oh, we're gonna yeah. get into that I, one I, I had a lot of options I guess okay so um I decided very spontaneously to just give up my my chambers because mm-hmm. I was very concerned about my finances mm-hmm. and um I got on a bus Okay, what? I got you, on oh, a bus. Oh, you got on a bus. What? You were on a bus. Yeah. What? what? <laughs> Do we have a picture of this? Do we have Anywhere pictures on the internet. The <laughs> you know, one of those. Crystal on a bus. You know? <laughs> This is a lady who told <laughs> the other ladies on Housewives that you are going to be on a jet. There we go. So, you see, I can be humble. <laughs> mm-hmm. From from the bus to the jet. To the jet. Yeah, we yeah. We need to do a TV show right there. There yeah. we go. Please. There yeah. we go. Bring That's it a show. on. I just, yes, on. I just bagged that one. Yes. We're going to be together. Huh? From yes, the bus to the jet. To the jet. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, maybe I should mm. call my book that. <laughs> yes. yes, definitely, from man. From the bus to the jet. So, so obviously, okay, okay, cool. So all this is happening, and uh, obviously, no money. You got in a bus, and so what is happening in your head? Like, uh, obviously, with the career, did you like? Were you on it? Were you staying strong with that, or did you think of giving up sometimes? Yeah. So I had a job lined up, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. from what I understood. Mm-hmm. From you a know, I didn't. I didn't okay. know until I got here. Okay. So um, I did the interview, and they said, okay, you know, she's an advocate. She should be able to handle it. And then I got the the job as a mm-hmm. as a professional assistant um, attorney. Mm. Okay. So yeah, the started out here, and that's that's how I started my walk in the city of gold. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, brilliant, brilliant. Didn't it's didn't have one friend. Well, I had actually just one friend. That was the guy who helped me to organize this this position. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and oh, then shout out just, to him. Yeah. Um, I don't know where he is. Like Neil, if you ever like listening, him and I don't know. He, I've totally lost contact with him. I would no, love that's to see fine, him again. right? Anyway, so yeah, so that's how it all started, and then I went through a series of law positions. I mean, I worked as a legal advisor. I worked as a um, attorney. I worked as a, um, a lecturer as well. So I did. I did everything in the legal profession. A lecture. Mm. Yeah. W- what were you lecturing? Well, um, I lectured business law. Yeah. Okay. For okay, um, okay. UNISA students and um, yeah, different different schools of law. Mm-hmm. Of law. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's actually quite amazing. Because eh? I was going to ask at this point, obviously you had finished uh, the school in uh, in law. You had already started it. That's right. Oh, okay. Cool, man. That's um. <clears throat> It's pretty amazing and brilliant, hey? Yeah, it's, it's just yeah. not you seeing on you on screen, and yeah. but the whole person <laughs> behind the screen and uh, behind this thing. Obviously, I want to talk a little bit about you being a businesswoman uh, as well before we, uh, you know, we, we go away and come back. Uh, well, what kind of businesses do you have? Well, I started a number of different businesses when I retired from law. Actually, I was very lucky to be able to retire quite mm-hmm. young. Mm. I won't say exactly my age. Of course. Okay. Nobody knows my age. So it's, it's, a, it's a urban a never secret. Tells. <laughs> a lady never tells me. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's okay, mm-hmm. right? Mm. Um, so, yeah, um, I went into a number of different um, concerns. I, I had a nail salon for quite a while, which was quite a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. um, in um, Houghton, Norwich mm-hmm. area. Um, and oh, then okay. I also have a, a film location agency, which I still manage. Yes. And yeah, that's that's very closely aligned with you know the art and entertainment. So it's it's a lot of fun because I I supply locations to um, you know for movies, different production houses, and mm. everything. Oh, that's amazing. That's yeah, really cool. yeah, and. I must say, I, I could definitely see myself going towards the production side of things as well. You know, Oof, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's what I find interesting about your journey is the fact that you started in law. What was that transition like into the arts and to the creative space? Because you're also an image consultant. Yeah, I'm a lot of yeah. things. I guess yeah, a lot you of know. things. So what was that transition like from corporate um, to now? Well, it was actually quite amazing, if I have to tell you. It was a very sudden transition. Mm-hmm. I was working flat out as an attorney um, for, a, for a big corporate. 
And then overnight, um, I had a incredible um, happening. And um, I woke up with quite a few million in my bank accounts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know that sounds crazy, but it kind of is like how it happened. Okay. Um, yeah. And someone had actually gifted me with ads. Someone close. Ah, okay. Someone <laughs> gifted you. <laughs> now, I yeah. might be wrong, but on the show, you said that you actually, your ex-husband was somebody who was well off and then you met him and then joined in with your success together well my ex-husband was not really the person no um so my Mm -hmm. ex-husband we um we obviously had a family we had you know my son Mm -hmm. and um you know we we obviously still have to communicate in that because of the fact that we have a child together Mm -hmm. but um Mm -hmm. i wouldn't say i wouldn't say that i would say that um it was actually because of my previous uh, fiance that i was able to make such a change in my life and he was amazing he was the most generous person Mm. um we'd been together for a couple of years it was very rocky he is he he you know he has his his own issues and everything that i went through with him and Mm. i think that he was just so amazingly um grateful to me for what i did for him Mm. that he he came through for me in a huge way and he really he really set me up for life Mm. and you know i'm i'm eternally grateful to him for that and he he allowed me to blossom he allowed me to go into the areas that i really wanted to Mm. because after a while i realized that law certainly wasn't um really for me um as much as i Mm -hmm. enjoyed the the justice side of it and you know the debating side of it i was really um an actress i was really involved in wanting to get into the media Mm -hmm. and to go a more creative route Mm -hmm. and he allowed me to do that and it was really um quite amazing that's that's why i'm actually here to be quite honest if it wasn't for him i don't Uh think i would be here that's yeah. very beautiful. That's very beautiful, yeah, eh? That's beautiful. All right, guys. All right, so as we move on, we've still got Crystal <laughs> K in the building. And uh, we're talking all things about her life and how she came to be the superstar that she is today. Right. There is a lot that we talked about and before if you just joined us. And uh, she was tell- just telling us about her life and um, how she came about to be the superstar TV star that she is. So now we're going to be talking about how did you get into tv now well that was also quite a strange incident that happened Mm. one day um i just got back from la and i was actually hoping to get a contract um in pop music got back from la you know (laughs) 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 yeah you know Uh i was already doing the whole entertainment thing what can i say Mm -hmm. um no i was i really really was hoping to to clinch this deal um over there um, Universal Records was very interested in me and my music. Oh, wow. And yeah, no, that was just mm-hmm. going to be the ultimate for me. Um, unfortunately, they decided to go with a local artist. So um, I was feeling a little bit down at the time. Mm-hmm. And um, about three weeks after that, um, I got a call, a <laughs> random call from a lady. And she said she was a producer in a reality show. And would I be interested in being part of the show? Wow. And I was like, yeah, of course I would. Like, <laughs> this is like such an amazing platform for my music. Why would I not be? Uh-huh. So I just said yes. I didn't know what I was getting myself into in terms of the actual show. I didn't know it was the Real Housewives. I just thought it was some, mm-hmm. you know, arbitrary um, TV oh, um, reality <laughs> show. And anyway, um, that was it. Um, yeah, I never looked back. Um, sometimes I had to look over my shoulder, though, many times. <laughs> 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 okay, cool. So, Bobby, how you doing? I'm a co-host, right. everybody. So, Bobby in the building, co-hosting with me today. And, uh, yeah, how are you feeling today? I'm very well. Thanks, Ronnie, and you. Ah, lovely stuff, man. It's always lovely to be in your presence. <laughs> uh, Krista, I'm very happy to have you here. No, thank you. And thanks for inviting me all on the show. Pleasure. So, Krista, um, with me, I'm going to be very deep with you, and I hope you don't mind. I know you to be a very strong and um, blunt, so here we go. I've yeah. got a couple of questions for you. Um, firstly, I would like to know why you're not going to be a part of season three. I mean, a lot of viewers have a couple of things to oh, say. Oh, we're about expecting you. a season three. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. that's I'm right, brilliant. Eh? Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was long in the coming. So, I mean, why are you not going to be a part of it? What happened? Well, I can see what you mean by you know, not beating around the bush or anything because you went straight, <laughs> straight for that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So um, season three had a long history to it. Um, we actually started filming a season three of, of which I was a part okay. um, in February last year. 
and we started off going to Kenya. All right. And um, mm-hmm. I have to say that um, there was a change in production. There was only one producer um, um, that time around, okay. um, the original producer. Um, the other two had fallen by the wayside. Okay. And um, I can tell you now that I, I took the most strain in that um, season three that was supposed to go on air and never did for the reasons I will tell you. Okay. Um, and I, I really, I really um, felt that um, it, it became almost like a, um, like a slinging match, like real torture to me. It was, it was mm-hmm. so bad. It was so bad that actually they called a seance against me one of the nights wow. in Kenya. They, all the girls um, got together and okay. they said, um, you know what, who is the elephant in the room? Who is the girl on, on, on this, um, this whole, whole scene that is causing all the drama and so all the problems and everything? You, the yeah, up. and wow. Brunette went and she said that she made this whole big speech oh about, about it. And mm-hmm. um, she said, right, we're finding the, you know, the person here who's, who, who kind of like mm-hmm. is, is, the, is the lost cause. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then once she had um, isolated me as being that person, mm-hmm. every single other girl that was there, and there were about, I don't know, five, six of them, actually maybe more, um, went around and just said the most horrendous things about me. And of course, this was uh-huh. all being filmed. It was all going to go on, you know, national TV. And most of it was all lies. Okay. And um, I think at that point, um, I was prepared to actually, like, not go on with Walk the show. Okay. Um, it got so, so bad, the persecution that I felt. So yeah, that that was one um, terrible incident of that um, season, and then what happened after that was we went um, to Johannesburg to Pretoria actually, okay. and we were in a nightclub in Pretoria, and I then addressed this with the girls. <laughs> okay, I was gonna get there. <laughs> okay, I I then I then addressed. Um, sorry, this is all background to really why I'm not on the show, okay. Um, okay. and I'd like everybody to maybe understand that because you know it is it is quite a. Mm-hmm. Um, a shocking um, revelation, mm-hmm. um, I think, for for yes, a lot right. of my fans. Yes. And anyway, so um, yeah, so we went into this nightclub in, in in Pretoria, and I, as I am, don't take anything lying down. And I went up to the girls and I said to them, "Listen here, why did you have to do that to me in in in, um, in Kenya?" You know, this was just totally uncalled for. And you know, what? Why did you do that, Renette? Why? Mm-hmm. You know, and I was also wondering now, was it just Renette or was it the production that it also caused mm-hmm. us to go on? Because it sounded like it was this planned speech. Yeah. And I was just interested to see where this was um, coming from. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so with that, Gugu, who was next to her, absolutely went into a fit and she started attacking me. And she was like putting her body right up against mine. And okay. I had no choice. I just like pushed mm-hmm. her and I'm just very strong, you know, like when I'm in that kind of a situation. And I pushed her away from me and she landed on the couch. But it was a very soft landing. It was a couch. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't suffer any problems or any like damages <laughs> to her ass or anything else. But I'm did, telling you. Did, did you actually try to pull her wig? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I think that's the number one thing on the show. Eh? I didn't manage even to get to the wig. <laughs> no, okay. no, 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 no. All right. I just want to ask. Like, uh, obviously, like I was about to ask. Obviously, there was a few rocky relationships. Um, and how you feel about that? Is does does that bother you at all? Like, is it bothering you right now, or it doesn't? Well, you know, I think that with the way that the mm-hmm. show is, it mm-hmm. does cause those kind of ructions. And certainly in my case. And yes, I don't think that I would be going for tea with certain people <laughs> on the show. No, just no to problem. Put it that way. No problem. <laughs> okay, it's so obviously the question that I wanted to actually ask is that uh, obviously would you like rekindle some of these relationships like from the people with the show? Um, you know, that's that's an interesting one. I think mm-hmm. that it all comes down to people leveling and if they had to come to me and they said you know i'm sorry crystal for this is you know for this happening or whatever or we had a we had a mutual exchange of talking it through maybe if there was mediation maybe they have they brought somebody in Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. um, have that but they never did um it would have been better so you know i'm not saying i would never be open to that um i just think i would always be aware of um, going forward, if they were in the show with me, okay. of of what could happen, yeah. and you know, you you can't really let your guard down. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so tell mm-hmm. us. Um, still talking about Real Housewives. Um, 
you had a quiet clashes with Madame Evodia? What actually happened? Evodia, well, she was just a really big character. Oh my goodness, she was just so full of <laughs> like. But are you guys like, friends? I can't even tell you the word that comes to mind. She she uh-huh. really um you know she she was the biggest drama queen. I think she was a much more mm-hmm. bigger drama queen than I if I am one mm-hmm. because I feel that I'm always the one that's I'm reacting to mm-hmm. um, what the girls are doing. Mm-hmm. And then yes, maybe I can bring the drama in that sense. But mm-hmm. I I don't go around looking for things and and picking on people and making exactly, problems. Yeah. That is not my style. Okay. But, uh, yeah. And sorry to cut you off there, but I just wanted to say, okay, fine, we're just running a little bit of our own time. I just wanted to know, obviously, you mentioned you're a mother and uh, you've got a son. Yes, okay. yes, yeah. I do. Yeah, so I how do. does your son feel about you being a celebrity and also in the TV? I mean, you as a mom, how does he, does he say, mom, you're on TV or mom, who are these people? Yeah, <laughs> no, how my does son, it work? My son is amazing. He's so encouraging of me uh-huh. and he is like, he gets so angry with the other girls and he'll like say, <laughs> mom, oh just go and just give her one. <laughs> That's just, you know, he he really gets involved and I Uh I am very open with him. I talk to him about everything. I really believe in, you know, not, you know, money causing your children. And I think that it's important for them to also realize life's not perfect. (laughs) And that, um, you know, we, Mm -hmm. we, but we can make it as perfect as we can. And that's the main thing. Yeah. Just a quick one. Do you actually have a jet? Um, I'm working on that one. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no jet. Let me tell you, I've got, a, no I've got a friend who's got jet. <laughs> Let's save it. <laughs> that's all. That's all you need. Your friend's got a jet. That's all we need. Um, obviously, want to dive deep uh, a little bit about in the music before we go, and I just want to ask a question. Like uh, I think you mentioned uh, in the show, uh, one of the seasons that uh, you've been on a billboard. How, how far through is that? Like, yeah, I know. Um, my first single that was released um, was picked up by... Charts, yeah. yeah, it was set apart. It was picked up by an American um, promotion company. And then they... That's amazing. Yeah. Ooh. They came to me and they said, you know what? We, we'd charts. like to... Yeah, we'd like to promote <laughs> this in the States. And I was like, really? Uh-huh. Um, and at that stage, I was still... Um, yeah, you know, ready to pay the pound and mm-hmm. do the do the thing. And yeah, so it was a very expensive um, promotion that I paid for over wow. there. It was all, in dollars, it was very no, expensive. No, of course, this is the billboard chart. Um, but yeah, it did it did make quite an impact. And um, Was it before yeah. uh, Universal or this was after yeah, Universal? Yeah, this is before Universal. This is c- a couple of years. My music wow, career um, has um, stemmed for quite a few years. Um, and I think that it didn't take on the impact that it could have because of the show. It was quite a big distraction. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and exactly. um, yeah, and look, now so, I really want to focus on it a lot and get things going. I think people are going to be very interested to hear from me now that I'm supposedly exactly <laughs> dropped from this <laughs> flip and show. That's exactly what I wanted to ask. Like, um, like, so what are we expecting from you? Well, I've got a in lot of, of songs music. in the bag. I've got uh-huh. like 10 songs that are already done and produced and everything. Not released. So, no, they're not released. Huh. Um, okay. So, I'm going to be releasing um, three or four of them, you know, in the earlier parts of this year. And then um, we'll see where we're heading. Um, mm. But I do want to get to this year, I want to get to Los Angeles again. Definitely. Oh, wow. Brilliant. Wow, nice. Yeah, yeah. And oh, I, brilliant. Mm. All right. So, Christo. Um, just one last. Yeah, the last How one. How is then your we love life after your divorce? Are you in love? Mm. Um, it comes and goes. <laughs> oh my God. You don't have yeah. a stable relationship. <laughs> no, I don't actually. Uh, okay. um, I'm dating and there you have it, so <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to comes be. I'd love. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to be in love, but you know, it's, it's just playing around. You it's know? dangerous territory out there. I hear you. Really, it is. Yeah. All right, uh, thank you for coming through, Krista. Okay, it's a pleasure. Thanks so much. It was lovely chatting. We really appreciate it, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping uh, when you drop your song, uh, we're the first one to have it. And uh, you did uh, allow us to play one uh, exclusive (laughs) that no one has ever heard. No, so this song, actually, it was um, a release of Wanda. It's a different uh, version of Wanda. And Mm. it's it's me and Buffalo Soldier um, Mm. in the mix. Yeah. That's nice, nice, huh? Yeah. Nice. I Two can't wait great to things. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bogart Radio and Chris Stahl is out of the building. The morning show. Same time, same place tomorrow at 9 o'clock up until 11. This is Bogart Man Radio. It's a cool, it's a
trouble the world in a seven seas. Wanna be a in a physical form and spiritually. I'm a wonder, 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 wonder.